Hello, well today I'm going to be doing some work on one of my leather sewing machines and it's my smaller cylinder arm machine that I use for bag making and I'm going to actually slow it down. Now this machine already has a servo motor on it. If you remember a lot of sewing machines, industrial machines, come with clutch motors, big noisy motors and I did have a harness makers machine like that and I slowed that one down by putting a servo motor on it. Well this machine already has a servo motor but I want to slow it down some more so I'm going to put a pulley system on. Now if you live in the States you can actually buy pulley systems ready made. Here in the UK you can import them but they're actually quite hard to get hold of otherwise. So I'm going to be doing a homemade little effort here using pulleys and that will slow the machine down roughly 3 to 1 ratio which will make it quite nice. This is actually a, a good machine. It's got one of the slightly slower start servo motors and you can take it down quite slow, but it's quite hard to keep it consistent at a slow speed. So the idea of putting the pulley system on will basically be to take its speed down a bit more evenly as I can set the settings so that I get a slower, more consistent slowness, but also it will give a little bit more torque on the actual sewing side of things here. So I will get underway. So first thing you need is a couple of pulleys and you can get these they are called M section pulleys that's quite important that's the actual kind of section for the belt. The sewing machine belts are usually M section belts, V drive belts and you can get these from good sewing machine suppliers you can get them on online auction sites from China and I'm going for roughly a one to three reduction in fact it's slightly less on this one but this pulley wheel is a 50 millimeter and this one is a 130 millimeter so that would give me a fair speed reduction now these sewing machine pulleys come with a keyway so that's the little slot and what I've had to do, because I'm using a shaft which is just a plain 15 millimeter shaft, I've actually put a couple of little screws in each side. So I've drilled and I've tapped in those grub screws. The other thing you could do if you didn't want to drill and tap, if you don't have a drill and tap set to make the screw threads, you could actually just bore a hole and put, bore a hole for your axle and actually secure the pulley wheel to the axle. So the axle is just a length of 15 millimeter diameter metal bar and it fits very nicely, very good tight fit, which is exactly what I want. So having put the little Allen screws in, I can do these up and they'll hold on that axle very well. And the bearings I'm using are standard um, pillow block type bearings. So these run in nice ball bearings and there they are, 15 millimeter bearings. So I have a couple of those and again you can get these off of the likes of eBay and other online places that sell bearings or probably a local engineering place as well. They're fairly standard and they're quite reasonable to buy. So this whole option is actually quite cost effective. Obviously you have to make it all up yourself, but it does save quite a bit of money over buying a commercial unit. But that will work nicely. The other thing I quite like about this system over the heavier cast iron speed reduction system I have is this is a lighter pulley wheel. So actually the inertia on your motor is less, which is no bad thing. So, the final thing you need are a couple of belts and again these are obviously sewing machine M section belts and the belts are certainly in the UK and I think it's pretty universal are measured by the length in inches and it's on the inside so to actually work out what length of belt you need it's a bit hit and miss but if you actually wrap some string around your pulleys, around your motor pulley and around one of these pulleys and ditto around the machine and around the drive pulley you can estimate what length of belt you need. 
and you may because these belts are actually quite cheap you may want to buy a couple of belts just so you have a, a size up and a size down or something in case you get it horribly wrong but that's what I'm doing so for this conversion I'm going to be using a 27 inch and a 36 inch belt obviously it varies on your actual machine what you'll need now in order to fit the belts I'm going to have to make this slot actually go back more that the belts come up from the motor on because my two belt system will actually push this back a bit so I'm going to use a jigsaw and I'm just going to cut that back a couple of inches now to get the old belt off is a bit like slipping a, a bicycle chain you just need to push it down and it will come off so what I'll in effect be doing now is having two belts one around the machine, one around the motor and then they will join onto my pulley system. I'm just going to remove that bobbin winder next and then I'll place the pulley system in position. So I've just placed the pulleys in position with the belts just loosely at the moment. So this is the main drive pulley of the machine and here are the two pulleys. So that's the smaller one which goes up to the machine and then the larger one goes to the motor. Now at the moment I can't fit the motor one on even loosely because it's too small so I'm going to need to raise the motor. On the underside here so I've got the belt very loosely in position at the moment. Here's the adjusting bolt for the motor. So the motor is actually hinged on a bracket. And as a standard with all these motors, they'll be hinged on a similar sort of three point fixing bracket. And I can just take the motor up a bit to take the slack on that belt. So that hopefully then it will fit the pulley. So I'll just undo these two nuts, move that up and I'm hoping then I can roughly get the, the belt in position. I'm just going to also now drill, drill out or cut out this little area here so that the pulley belts can fit in. Now a couple of quick safety things just to say. First thing is obviously make sure your machine is switched off. And the second thing is when you come to cut that slot, if you need to cut it on your table, make sure you're not fouling any cables. Because cables often go quite near those slots. So on my machine, you can see there are a couple of cables back there, a fair way back. But I obviously need to be very careful I don't damage those. I'll get them too close to the, to the belting. So do keep an eye on that. So just looking down on the bully assembly now, I've got everything just roughly in place and I'm pleased to say my belts do fit. So I'm going to now drill these holes and try and find some bolts in my odds and ends box to bolt those to the table. Again, just to say from a safety point of view, before you drill, check for cables. Now here I have got some cables that go directly over my drill holes. So I'm going to have to move these cables. So here's the pulley assembly with all the belts connected. So first of all, speed. That's fine, that's, that's quick enough. I, I don't ride it if it's not mega mega fast. And then slower. That's quite nice and controlled. I can contain a fairly consistent speed there. It's got quite a nice punching ability there. Nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm jolly pleased with that. Certainly slowed that machine down. It will make it far easier when I come to put the zips in the bags. 
So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Just thought I'd mention I'm on Instagram as well now. So if you want to have a look at some photos that you don't see in the films, you'll find there's a link on my title page. <laughs>